Okay, that's pretty much your final warning. That's it, chat. Last call. This game's being removed from Steam again in a few days, and now we're here for an extendo stream of The Crust, a game that I thought would have its end yesterday for the Steam Next event, or Next Fest, which celebrates a ton of games, their demos and whatnot. And this game has a demo that some people have been playing for 10, 15 plus hours, and the game's not even out yet. So welcome aboard. Good to see you all here for The Crust. Yeah, so... Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on. Luckily, uh, or at least I think, that this game will allow us to pick up on our save from the other day. Uh, I did save it before the end, but the devs did drop an update, and it said that uh, there may be some compatibility issues with it. So we'll see. If it does interrupt it, we'll just start over and skip through a lot of the, the voice acting and whatnot and try to speed through our objectives. But this is going to be a very member. cool uh, factory builder game that the devs uh, have graciously taken down and then re-uploaded again. Cause yeah. It was so popular. Let's watch the intro. Ooh. So if you want to know how it all starts... Make sure you uh, check out yesterday's stream where we kind of got started with it. I also put out a video on this one too, so we've played it a couple times before. But uh, certainly this will be the most in-depth we've been with it so far. So thanks to the devs for putting it up. Apparently this was like the top, like within the top 10 most popular games during the Steam Next event. So that's really cool. I like it. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, it looks like they included it. Whoa, the devs put in a sandbox mode. Let's go. You used to be able to only do the, uh, the tutorial. Maybe we should do the sandbox mode instead. But uh, I think we'll just load our save because at least we had some stuff started. So let's go ahead and see if this actually... Uh, will work out. If not, we'll just start from uh, the sandbox mode. Cool. So there's a campaign mode, which is kind of narrated and helps you out with a kind of a guided tutorial, but it is interesting and sets up the reasons why you're on Mars and, or sorry, <laughs> the moon and uh, why there's crust and other organizations there. I saw that lady in orange. I was like, orange Mars. But uh, yeah, so welcome back to the crust. All right. Ooh, we're making a lot of power and stuff too. So essentially what happened is uh, there was a base on the moon, it exploded, and now we need to uh, continue building stuff. So we'll see how it all goes. Uh, we were building a mine here. We're gonna wait for some of our drones to drill through here so we can connect up and uh, we're gonna start making titanium, uh, smelting titanium, and then start to make components. So that should be pretty cool. Can't wait for City Skylines too, I know. We're getting down to about 24 hours until we get to show you guys. We're not there yet, but soon. Soon it'll be 24 hours, and then finally we get to build our first city in City Skylines live. I built a few cities. I have over about 150 hours in that game. Now. I just checked on Steam, and it says 10, but that's because they put out a couple of different uh, versions of the game that were like beta, alpha, early access, and whatever else. So, And now, finally, I think we have a permanent version of the game that I've played for about 10 hours in total. Scouting, as usual. Send the rover to the cargo terminal coordinates to see what's left of it and what we can do about it. Send the rover to the cargo terminal. Uh, let's keep doing social. Uh, send the rover to the cargo terminal. All right, he's on the way. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, the dev, you know, when we start playing City Skylines in the next couple of days, the devs still have a week to go before it actually releases. So we'll we'll see exactly what happens uh, with the full release of that game for sure. Cross Town Detective Agency, yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah, you could actually build a base in this game where humans will live, but we haven't gotten to that point just yet. We'll, we'll get there eventually. We're doing one thing at a time. Let's get back underground. We're waiting for our miner. We're making this, like, big factory area, and then we're going to connect these two rooms together. So we're standing by. <laughs> you think Zerglings are going to attack? We'll see. We'll see.
Also, I need to make a crossing point here, so we'll see if that works. And have we made enough iron yet? 261. All right. Steel. Looks like we stored a ton of power. That's awesome. Enough for 73 days. Beautiful. We'll see what happens when we go into a lunar night. Great music in this game, too. So we're shipping out what now? Oh, yeah, the loot. Uh, titanium. We're shipping out titanium. And we need a way to use slag. Let's take a look at research. We are researching, so we'll wait for that to be done. Have you used the multi-regolith machine? I think we're re uh, researching that right now. I think that's one that's in our research. The latest Farthest Frontier beta has barbarians camps that you can attack. Oh, awesome. We may have to get into Farthest Frontier then. Bum, 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 bum. All right, looks like they're almost done with the mining of the corners. Perfect. And what about here? Oh, yep, they're mining that out. Perfect. Oh, they did. They're done. Good. Excellent. Oh, we got to build that the other way. I hope they uh, eventually make a tool that will let you just flip the conveyor directions. It's a belt. It can go either way. Uh, I was hoping it wouldn't do that. Uh, all right. So it's a splitter that will split these and they're going the wrong way. I want them to go up over the top, but I don't see a way to also make a conveyor belt higher. Let's see. Maybe there's a way I can modify what goes through here. Block output blocks the resource from moving through this output. Oh, there we go. Man, manual control. Well, that's not what I want. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so what is that? That's regolith, okay. So I only want regolith to go through there. Okay, let's see if that does what I want. Eh, we'll have to see. either. I feel like it could just be an easy overpass. I wish that were uh, an actual thing. Is that the one? Regolith. There we go. All right, I think we're good. Oh, it does work. I still want a, a bridge. I want a bridge. Is 
then the boss will get everything else to where it needs to go. All right, regolith is coming through. Titanium is coming through. So now, let's make sure this goes the right way. Yep. So let's make... Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. Perfect. Those should work as well. Bum, 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 bum. Did a lot of people, uh, I think a lot of people maybe missed the community guidelines when they hopped into that seat. A lot of oops. GG doesn't apply to me. The moon? Yeah. Well, we're working on that, pal. We're almost there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they saw. I don't know if they saw. Sumerians? Sumerians is a good game. I'd like to play that again. Good game. Oh, that... Oh, and... I wonder if that's a one-to-one. -one. No. Twelve and nine make three? What? That's an insane amount of output. Priority output will always take the resource first if possible. Yeah, let's do that. be a problem because if one gets stuck on that conveyor uh, it looks like they'll get locked in the middle and it won't send it to the other side pistola pete thanks for the 23 months as a raptor egg thank you very much for the support appreciate it all right anyway we know we're gonna have a bottleneck here so we have to fix this too Game looks fun. It's been a fun game so far, for sure. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We may have unlocked something to help us. Uh, we've got the... Uh, the multiprocessor. Almost. Well, that's done now. Let's see. Extracts oxides from regolith for further reprocessing cannot be installed indoors. So this can process both Wait, this can have two outputs of two different things? Mm. Oh, and then you can... Okay, that's interesting. So the set... how Whatever you choose to export it, there's like different... 
Exits for whatever you're exporting? Okay. Your brain hurts? I know, me too. We could try the sandbox mode as well, which actually might be worth taking a look at too because we uh, kind of get to start fresh and not be on such a leash at the beginning. We could do that. Um, let's try this. I do want to see what we get options for uh, for sandbox. Now that I think of it, is there any is there any options for that? Do we get to choose where we start? Do we get to choose a budget? Or is it just the start of the game without the characters? Oh, it's a little different map. Oh. So it's straight up just like you got nothing. Not even drones? Not even drones. But we can drop those in the cargo pod. I think I think maybe we'll start fresh because we haven't seen sandbox mode before. Right, let's give that a try. Yeah, no salvage though, right? Alright, we'll give it a shot. Broken Rover, Mineral Extraction Complex. Go to the Broken Rover. It seems a little more fast-paced, like we don't have to just drag our feet at the beginning. Okay, well, let's uh, get started then. A fresh start, that that's okay with me. What do you have for materials? Oh, barely any. One and three on those, okay. Processing. Ice melting technology. Increase mining speed, that might be helpful. Okay, we'll queue all those up. Well, let's start from scratch then. So we have that big, beautiful base functioning, but uh, now that we uh, can start fresh, we can... Try the latest version of the game and the new sandbox mode, which has been unlocked. Okay, so we're standing by for research one to finish. Let me scoot over here.
All right, what do we got for our uh, drone reconfiguration module? I think we can build that above. And we'll do our drone charging station nearby. Okay, cool. All right, power storage is ready. Now on to power production. Uh, yeah, you can build human habitation buildings eventually. But at the start, it's all kind of just drones. But people eventually will provide much more uh, productivity, more than likely, but a lot more upkeep. Makes them a little more valuable, yet more picky. Are there moon worms? I haven't seen any yet. Thank you, Tan. All right, power's incoming. And we're going to need to start basics with some uh, pressing modules. Maybe if we build like that. Mm. Maybe I could build with some storage in mind. Something like that. The Bearded Traveler, welcome back as a Raptor Ultimate member. Thank you very much for your support. New member, welcome. Good to see you in the chat. Green eyes in the chat, show them some love. Another one. More power is needed. Build more of those. Uh, this is a lunar sim, yeah. And you get to uh, explore all of the moon. And maybe it'll go beyond that, maybe. Wow. Artie with a 10 bomb to the chatty chatters. Thank you very much. Gift bomb emotes in the chat. Show them some love. Oh boy. Chat's, chat's feeling a little frisky. Getting excited for all the building games. City Skylines 2, The Crust eventually. New updates to the Frontier. Or, or sorry, yeah. Uh, new updates to uh, Forever Skies. The Tribe is out. Oh, it's a, it's a good day. That's awesome. We're producing 286 and we consume 7. Probably good that we have way more power than we need. We can always store it in the batteries. Alright, now let's convert a couple to mining. And let's begin. Too many games, not enough time, I know. I know, chat's very upset about this game not having anything to do with pizza. I know, Chad. I know. I feel your pain.
All right, here we go. Let it begin. You'll order a pizza as consultation. Bro, you could make a Pizza Hut on the moon. Think about that. Be the first Pizza Hut on the moon. Defeating Domino's to space in the pizza race. All right, let's max out the uh, mining equipment now. Yeah, so it's a lot faster to start because in the story mode, you know, they're setting up all the characters and they're kind of hand-holding and being atmospheric and showing you where everything is and what to do and what to prioritize. But once we uh, played the uh, story mode, now we kind of got like uh, a little better understanding of what to do. And we could be a lot more organized now because we kind of have it a little basic understanding. Calzone, that's right. Will the Pizza Hut have a salad bar? Uh, it depends on what tier you unlock. It all depends. You know, this is early access, so they probably haven't put in the salad bar yet. But it, it's on the roadmap, you know. Eventually. Alright, researching more stuff. Uh, let's unlock the ore detector. Do you happen to know if the game in this mode have minerals in different places when you scan? Uh, we'll find out as soon as we research the mineral scanner. We shall see. What's up, Radman? Okay, we got no robots above the surface. It's all the actions happening down in the crust. Eventually, we could put a storage here for the smart concrete, right? I hope that doesn't need a conveyor between it. Maybe it will. Didn't look like they lined up flush. Pizza Hut has the best deep dish. Yeah, that's where we're, we're in the deep dish now. You always get hungry in these streams. I know. I know. Operation Pepperoni is a go. Speaking of pepperonis, chat, that does make me want to play Killer uh, Frequency again. Ponzi's Pizza always delivers! That's right. That's right. Acres? Oh yeah, the farming game? I thought it was pretty cool. I just ran out of time for most things on the next event. And uh, if the demos are still up by the 19th, it's just it's City Skylines 2 time from 
October 19th, 2023 to January 1st, 2024. Locked in. Yeah, Acres was a demo too. It could, could still be on Steam. Perhaps. download the demo but it's not letting you play oh really i i redownloaded mine just before the stream and it's working um uninstall reinstall oh acres came out today from what you saw oh i thought it was a steam demo well maybe maybe look at this we're making this nice and square isn't that nice I really wish there would be more, like, real time-consuming uh, terraforming in games. I Even in Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, there's kind of still free terraforming. In op there's certain options where you can kind of just level certain things without construction equipment, but man. Yeah, Acres is cool. I, I saw it, I was like, okay, I, I gotta put this on my list, but I didn't, I just, I ran out of time. Three streams a day, plus a video, plus, you know... 50 very interesting Steam games that were on the next fest, plus City Skylines, which I played a bunch, plus recording for that, plus getting ready for it, plus other stuff. I just, I kind of ran out of time. I'm going to need Dirty and Lumberjack to cover games for me and step up. No more spa days. We're storing 90,000. Wow. I think I'm going to need the, to move the ore detector. Oh, you can do it that way. Okay, let's move the ore detector up. Yeah, let me cancel all this. All right, ore detector first. Then mining. Then smelting. Still a little slow at the start, but I mean, it's fair. That's going to take 26 days. Forget that. We'll come back to that later. I need a spa day? No. I had my spa day when I went to Lu Peter Luger's for 30 minutes. Then it was back to business. 25-8 chat. Although... Plans are in motion to go to, like, Poland and the Czech Republic, Slovakia, uh, Fra uh, Switzerland and France to go see some game studios. Buy out the goof troop. Buy out Dirty and Lumberjack's channels. Oh, there's some uh, basalt there, so we won't be able to go that way until we get a higher level. Alright, so the boys are done mining for now. They're going to do some mining again in a minute when I build this ore detector and then we find out where there's more stuff. Plus, we got, a good, we got some good friends out there in Europe that would definitely ride some trains with me, including the legendary Uthris. But Uthris is probably going to be... I'm per I'm expecting Uthris's plans for the next year are going to be a vintage story uh, server, Valheim server, and then maybe uh, something else. Maybe railroads online again. Maybe we shall see. Research complete. That was the ore detector, right? No.
No CS2? Uh, he'll probably play it, but I'm sure he'll find... Here's what he'll do. He'll play it and he'll be like, Yeah, you know, it's not... you know, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. And then he'll come back at the next uh, DLC. and For the next three years, he'll say that CS2 is not CS1 with mods. And then he'll play it for a while and then... You know, he just doesn't have as much time as he used to. But that's too painful to admit. That he's changed, man. Dude, years ago, Uthras used to be younger, man. Now he, now he's changed. The man has a mortgage payment now. He can't be playing games all the time, just most of the time. Oh, actually, you know what? I had completely forgotten, too. On October 26th, the uh, Big O update, Naval Warfare update for Foxhole is out. So we're probably going to go take a look at that again. For a whole, like, probably, like, weekend. Because I want to drive some Trucks Brothers. I n I've never been there for, the, like... Well, I've been there for the start of a war, just, like, right after the start of a war in that game, but... Um, I want everybody to be there. We're, we're gonna be calling all goofs, including you guys. You can all join. I gotta figure out. I gotta figure out what Uthras wants to do for like a regiment or something. Or like what he wants, because he'd probably be the one to operate it. Hey, baby, iron and silicon. Good, 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 good. All right, off to a good start. Now we can get that super silly kit. the extractor done then we or the the extractors next right yep yeah, okay do some more scanning one ping only Vasily oh, more iron there too beautiful And one, one last one. More silicon, let's go. Great, now we just need titanium. Hopefully we can find titanium soon. Since we're expanding the industry, I'm going to need more batteries for next time. You can't build here. What are you, ma'am? The HOA? You can't tell me what to do. connection will stay like it'll even though they're these are blueprints I think the wires will still connect I 
Actually, I don't even think that matters. I don't. I, I don't. I don't think this game's that complicated for that. We'll test it and see. I got an idea. Because this says we have nine nine hundred thousand. So if I just do this, I bet you. It'll just, yeah, it just gives us more. So it, it's the Todd Howard. It just works. You don't have to follow a circuit or worry about why. Like, electricity will flow wherever it needs to flow, like it's a pipe. The Todd Howard Memorial Power Facility. And gift shop, too, by the way. Don't forget. Gonna offer those moldy bags for 120 bucks. Don't forget, Todd wanted you to buy mold. A mold salesman. Oh, it looks like we buy science labs and stuff, so we could probably build that ourselves and increase research that way. Where's my extractor, damn it? Is that not done? It's, oh, it's four days away. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you could hold down the button for wires. I forgot. I was holding shift like I was building roads and city skylines or something. Yeah, I forgot. You can actually click and drag. It blew me away the first time I found that because it was like, no way. By the way, chat, uh, the top the top games of uh, the Steam Next event were as follows. Uh, Enshrouded, which we played at number one. Number two was a game called Japanese Drift Master, where you drive around Japanese uh, high-performance cars and drift. Number three, Sky Children of Light. Number four, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Number five, Robocop Rogue City. Number six, Foundry, which is what we played with Alex. Number seven, Pioneers of Pagonia. Uh, number eight, Al Apocalypse Party. Uh, number nine, The Last Faith. And number ten, Bopey Battle. I'm going to have to check some of those out. Most of them are still around. How do you manage the early lack of silicon? Oh, you can just buy silicon if you need to. You can call in an airdrop and then, like, get what you need. And then start, you know, tur turn the tables and then start exporting it. Obviously, uh, you know, you, you want to make profit by always exporting, but... You can't always, you know, you gotta spend money to make money. It is what it is. Yeah, I had a lot of lack of silicon, too, and then I just started buying some, and then... Actually, in the in the other map that we were on, I don't think I found any at all. So, uh, but I wish one of our silicon deposits was actually titanium. If we had two iron, one silicon, and one titanium, that would be good. But no titanium uh, is bad. But there could be more. I just haven't found it yet. There they go. Alright, so it looks like we're in the midst of the uh, moon's blackout. We have battery that will run for 67 days, apparently. We should just wait before we build anything else. We can keep mining. I 
Oh, you used to play Total Annihilation? Great game. Yeah, Total Annihilation, Supreme Commander, Supreme Commander 2, Planetary Annihilation, all good stuff. I enjoyed the, uh, there was a Total Annihilation game that was medieval called Total Annihilation Kingdoms, and that was pretty cool. I never played that one, but I, like, I looked at a lot of the pictures and saw some gameplay, and I'm like, oh yeah, that plays exactly like, uh, very similar to Total Annihilation. Gems. Gems that the younger generation will see graphic bad, game bad, and never play. Think about it. The Zoomers' children in the year 20, you know, 2073 will look at Stardew Valley and be like, game bad. They'll look at the crust and be like, game bad. Halo, game bad. Elden Ring, look at these horrible graphics, game bad. Not all of them. But you know most of them. Dude, it's not in 17K game bad. It's so bl Only 16K? So blurry. Can't make out the screen. <laughs> it's going to be like Marty McFly's kids. Remember when he comes... Uh, when Marty's kid comes home and he like puts on like 14 different channels on TV? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this looks low quality on my brain implant. Ooh, the Disney Epic Steam Store, powered by Comcast, is having a sale. Whoa, only $843 for Spider-Man 7? Wow. Exclusive, only on the PlayStation 16. Whoa. Dude. Oh, the collector's edition is sixteen hundred dollars. Well, that's a small price to pay for all these skins. Whoa, they're a whopping two skins, and I only get to use them for two hours in the game. That's awesome. Can't wait for that. That's the future. Research complete. All right, finally. Jeez, that took forever. Actually, that wasn't that bad though because it's kind of timed out nicely because by the time you're done mining out the sections where the resources are, then the research is done to then acquire the resource. We're going to speed up time, though, because I'm not going to build this stuff until we've got more power. But, yeah, but still somehow RuneScape will still look like RuneScape and everyone will love it, yeah. Whoa, The Sims 14 just dropped? Dude, what's this? Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, they have the infant play pack. Cool, you can... Oh, now they let you have an infant in the game. That's totally new. Wow. Oh, and tree houses too? Oh, it's the infant treehouse play pack. Wow. Expansion, I mean. Hmm? Cars? No, <laughs> no, you can't drive a car in The Sims 16. Just like how you couldn't in The Sims 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and 4. And then that weird offshoot, uh, The Sims Ultra Online. Yeah, the DLC is only $9,700 per minute? Wow. Or I should say Euro dollars. Oh, maybe in a few years we'll... Uh... It's, it's only 700 gig download. That's only going to take eight days. I heard this week Comcast is finally going to be installing a fiber optic line to the house. Wow. Just this week in the...
Should have used. Okay. My bad. Sorry, newbie. But I am I am kind of shocked that there's not like a canceled deconstruction button. Gary. Uh, Gary loves you. Welcome back as a raptor egg. Good to see you. Okay, we'll build an extractor. Oh, I don't have conveyor belts unlocked yet either. New so. member, welcome. Yeah, that's right. I wonder if we could buy uh, drones from Earth. In the campaign, you kind of get them for free, which is nice. There, yeah, we'll unlock conveyors next. 30 days, my god. Puzzle boss. What's up, Carlos? Welcome aboard. Okay, we need to get all those functioning. Oh, let's also deactivate the miners, because we, we're not mining anymore. For now. Super focused with that, but yeah. Republic credits are no good here. Oh. Must be Miami. No, we need uh, steel. We need silicon and iron now to continue our construction. So let's order that. Buy 200 steel, 200 silicon. Close enough. Quickly, my children, quickly. The grid demands unlimited power.
look at all that. All of them are built. Wait. Power grid one and two. Maybe I should just rewire it the this way. Damn it, this is gonna be like a puzzle, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's like playing firmament all over again at that damn power station. Haunts me in my damn nightmares. Ah, alright. Damn power grid puzzle boss. Should be all of them, right? Yep. Objective achieved. All right. Nope. Okay. I love democracy, Smiley. It's my favorite, Smiley. Okay, so we're researching the... Oh, I already did the smelter, right? Could put that next to... Well, I think I want to put it in a large processing area. We're going to need a few smelting furnaces to take care of everything we Research got coming complete. in. Build four of those boys and see how it goes. Oh, you can't just go from one device to another? Oh. Sag. have to upgrade those power poles too so we can connect more than what three all right boys we're gonna start smelting steel let's go hopefully this is enough past uh, midnight
I think we need to expand a little bit over here. Actually, we'll cut this whole thing out here. Back to the lab. Yeah, we played this a few times. Good one, man. It's a good one. We're going to have a lot going on. We're just doing a new start since we haven't played the sandbox mode before, which is new for the demo. Shutting it all down, Chad. I'm shutting it down. Shutting it down. What's up, Frackola? How's it going? Welcome. Are some of your solar panels not connected? Uh, we can take a peek. Mm. Yep, you're right. Good job, Chatty Chatter. Big brain emo. Looks good now. Oh, good. We're finally researching the uh, conveyors. Nice. Research exporting so we can finally make some money. Money. So now we're going to make some processors. Hey, daytime. Okay, let's figure out our processing now. I'll need two because we're going to do uh, two of those like that. If you like this game, by the way, too, make sure you check out another one called Captain of Industry. That one's very good. I think we'll just go like that. Oh, uh, yeah, there's the, uh, there's the new sandbox mode, yep. Uh, which apparently just dropped they they uploaded a new demo like today so that's cool uh i think i want to put it uh
Well, it's just got to cover nine tiles, so... I guess we can put it pointing this way. Wait, no. Yeah, we're good. You can't build here. Oh! Ma'am! Alright, cool. I don't think we can really do this until our conveyors are set up. Well, we could do it manually for a little bit. Yeah, that's the HOA bot. This is a gaming channel, Amit. Breaking news, this is uh, all about games. Alright, uh, module needs repair. Where? Oh, that one. All right, let's fire up the mining equipment. There we go. You want me to build something from Dune? Yeah. Actually, that would be great. There, there is that. Uh, there's the Dune. Uh, what's it called again? Spice Wars. But I do want a. Um, I do want like an actual legit city builder where you have to manage resources. things manually for now. Oh, I oh, you have to click. Oh, I didn't know you had to order a repair. That's kind of weird. Only one steel, but okay. And the music here. You know what this music sounds like? It sounds like you're watching that one. You remember, like in the early to that late '90s, all throughout the 2000s, maybe up even until 2010, maybe even today. But I don't know. Uh, that one channel that would just be the channel of the channels, and it would just be the slow scroll of where the movies were and what was coming up next and all that stuff. This would be the music that would play every once in a while. If they weren't showing like some sort of an ad or, or whatnot. Or maybe the weather section would pop up on that channel where it would just, for like 60 seconds, show you what the weekly forecast was. If you were, it's nighttime. It will be dark. This was the weather channel. It's like, what the hell? Yeah, the TV Guide channel. So let me um, research better solar panels and then mining. 
Very specific references here on the channel, chat. This is why you subscribed for food references. And for somebody speaking German? This lady speaking German? I can't hear her. No. That's tan language. Lay French. All right, now we're making iron. Sweet. And let's make a storage. I swear, I thought I saw, I thought I saw somebody in chat write the spice channel must flow. Yeah, that music was similar to that as well, from uh, what I've been told, but from others. Yeah, bears. Yeah, the bear channel. Just twenty four seven, just bears in captivity, just like laying around. Every once in a while, they take out that big blue drum. That's got stuff in it, and then the bear kind of attacks a little bit, gets bored, and then lays down again. <laughs> the bear must flow. Alright, let's store steel there. Uh, once we get conveyor belts unlocked, everything will look nice. Point eight million power, good. Do you think you can do multiple levels? Well, there's the surface and below, and I think that's it. But maybe they'll have more levels in the future, like something along the lines of Evil Genius. Yeah, I could see that, like where you could expand, like click on the elevator and expand down to another level. That'd be kind of neat. Possible, I mean, game's not finished, so. And with them being like really well received, they probably got a lot of feedback. Oh. oh, yeah. I forgot all about our rover. I was so busy with all the other stuff. So we might be able to repair this. Right? Seventy nine per cent for conveyors. Soon, chat, soon.
Now these drones will get a break once we get the conveyors unlocked. And then we can automate at least our steel production. And we're going to have to figure out... Actually, remind me to ping during the day, chat. We're, we're, we're going to ping during the day. Actually, I wonder if I could... No, it's too late now. Next daytime, we're going to ping like crazy and find out if there's um, titanium around. Then we'll take uh, steel and titanium and turn that into components. Real titanium or like iPhone titanium? It'll be uh, T I titanium. will it even take to ping? I wouldn't take that much, but I don't know if I want to do it. We'll wait one night. I hope the cross gets another demo. This game could definitely deserve another demo between now and, like, early access or whatnot. There's been a lot of good work, though, on, like, the cutscenes in the intro for this one. Maybe they'll make a couple of different missions or, uh, like, campaigns. That'd be interesting. While right, let's speed up time. We're going to wait for those conveyors. Once we get that, then, once the conveyors are unlocked... Here comes the money! Here we go! Money talks! Here comes the money! Exactly. I can hear the money. In fact, here comes the money. Here comes the money! Big money, Masuk. Here comes the money! Big money. I think this demo was... I, I think the best part about this demo is that the developers really showed you a lot. Like, it wasn't just like, um... You know, it's not like a 20 or 30 minute demo or like an hour or whatever. It seems like you could play this for a very long time. Some people said they played for, for like 10 hours and stuff, going back and forth and trying to optimize. That's what's fun about these games. Like, your first couple of runs are not so efficient, but it's like the most fun because you're like learning stuff and you're like, oh, that's how that does that. Oh, cool. This is th this does this. Like you see how it's different from other games in some ways. And it'll be the it'll be the same with like city skylines too. Like when everybody builds their cities, they'll be they won't be their best because they haven't yet built the city skylines two way. They're, they're still building like it's one. Conveyors unlocked. Let's go. Hopefully we can feed one to one. Worst case scenario, we can cut these conveyor belts and then build a storage.
And then... Man, this really makes me want to go play uh, Captain of Industry as well. Has anybody been playing um, Factorio again recently? Is, is the new stuff for Factorio out, the trains, or are they still working on that? Because I kind of want to, I, I really would love to play Factorio again with Bradford and the whole the whole group, but um, I'll have to see what their interest in it is. Trains are out? Oh my god. That's why I saw some people playing. The double-decker train stuff is out? Okay. I, I don't have time to get started with Factorio, though. I, I gotta do City Skylines, too. I can't. I guess, in a way, City Skylines 2 can kind of be like Factorio when you set up some of the factory stuff. Not really. But it's like you can scratch a little bit of that itch within, fact, uh, within City Skylines. At least it's got some factory stuff. Oh, it looks like we could have built two of these. Or wait. Oh yeah, we could have done like... We could have probably done two and then... Oh yeah, this has got to be like... One to two to four. Oh well, wait a minute, actually wait, wait, wait. Because right now we're researching extractor yield. So that'll increase that, but then also I know we can increase smelter speed, so wait a minute. That'll be alright. We'll, we'll get the upgrades and see how effective that is. Alright, let's, um... I think we're gonna make it through the night time just fine. Alright, so now we're done with the ex... Whatever. I, I don't think we can travel at night, can we? I guess we can. Just a little bit. We'll see if we make it. Probably not. we got to figure out how to get a rover down here, too. Maybe we got to make our own. In the campaign, you kind of find one and repair it. Or, well, the space truck. Things are working. We've already done that. Next thing we're going to research is that landing platform. And we can start making some money all. Then we got to mine towards the silicon. But before we do, I want to ping what's down here. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a ping. H2O. see how that goes.
That one will finally get a conveyor. We could probably build a storage. I can't really... There's no space there, but I could maybe build it here. Yeah. And we'll just loop it around. There we go. Perfect. Uh, space Trucking, yeah. Well, there is that game coming to Steam soon called Space Trucker. Or is space trucking or something? I don't know. There's also Alaska Road Trucker, which comes out tomorrow, which we mm, we might take a look at. Or I might take time to record a lot of extra city skyline stuff. We'll see. We shall see. has to be a processed resource. Uh-huh. Storage of a solid resource. Place to store a lot of bulk. That has to be like a finished product, okay. So we'll switch that out. Research complete. Oh good. What did we what did we finish? Oh yeah, the landing pad. Cool, now we can start making some money. We're working on medium solar panels. Let's keep working on automatic repairs and mining speed. We're gonna need that for what we're about to do. And we're almost to daytime, then we'll start pinging like crazy. You can't build here. You can't tell me what to do. I am Space God. I'm really liking games, by the way. I, this first time I remember seeing it. But I'm sure other games had it beforehand. In, like in cities, in um, Anno 1800, you can right click and it brings up a lot of the common things like building a road, demolishing, a few other things. I like it when games, when you can right click and it just brings up the most common things. Now, like in a game like City Skylines, it's going to be a little different because there's going to be so many different roads to use. But maybe power lines and some other stuff could be there. That'd be kind of helpful. Hey, there we go. Go get it, boys. Now we can clean up the floor, clean up in all the aisles. Beautiful. Oh, look at the uh, automation. Yeah, we definitely could use another smelter, but we could research technology to maybe make those better. I wonder if you can see the resource in there. Oh, they're already taking it out. Now these boys are making a little bit of slag, so we're gonna need somewhere to store that too. I hope there's a way that we can ship the slag like through the factories. like. There's like one main line that goes through those factories and then there could be a loader belt to put more onto those conveyors. I hope they can go through each other. That'd be cute. All right, it's daytime. Time to ping.
More iron. There we go, there's some titanium. And more iron there too, okay. Wow, alright, so iron is not a problem. No space bears, chat. Back to the surface. Oh, yeah, the rover ran out. Did anyone watch the Expanse game uh, series, by the way? So cool. Yeah, I just got access to that. The developers sent over a key, and I was like, damn. I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to play that earlier, but the Expanse is definitely one I think we'll check out on the channel. I think that was one where they started releasing it in the summer, like June, July, and finished up in like September or or October for the final season. So like now the full thing is out. So that's cool. So nice to be able to click clean up the floor. Also really appreciate how the conveyors are just all above the ground and so the drones don't get blocked by default. It's nice. You know what else is nice, chat? Cookies. Cookies are also nice. Mm-hmm. Yep. Looks good. Once we get the floor cleaned up, we'll start doing some more mining and then um, try to start doing the silicon. And actually, we can plan the tunnel for the titanium, which is going to be up there. We may as well go through iron.
There we go. Not sure where that is exactly, so we'll, uh... Have to widen that up a little bit. Alright, cool. Uh, hot, soft cookie sounds dirty. No, it's, uh... Actually, I, don't, I wonder if Dirty would be into that. I asked him the other day, Chad. I asked Dirty if he liked coffee. Answer is no. Guy doesn't like coffee. I wonder what this guy drinks. Doesn't doesn't really like to drink much alcohol. That's fair. Doesn't like to drink much coffee. Okay, fine. I wonder if he even drinks water. Do you think he takes sugar in water? Like that alien from Men in Black? I bet that's what he's like. Guy's an alien. I'm not saying yeah, that Dirty's an alien, but he's an alien. <laughs> he walks around with an IV in at all times. module needs repair now that one okay mm -hmm. we're researching automatic repairs so soon that won't be a problem what is that electric pillar enhancement good component factory we want that next Researching better extractors, that's good. Prune juice, wow. Okay, looks like we're done cleaning the floor. Let's get everybody retooled. Dirty doesn't think cereal is a break. Alright, don't don't listen to him and his preachings. It's dark dark arts. That's what he's preaching, is the dark arts. Now, cereal is a breakfast, that's for sure, but maybe there's maybe there's better things you could have for breakfast. Maybe that's what he means. And to that, he'd probably be right, right? There's a lot of things you can have that are way better than just cereal with milk on it. Cereal's good, but there are be there are better things, yeah. More protein in the morning. There's a lot of things. Wow, this music. What else is broken? find two titanium but at least we're not gonna have a problem with steel so we can start exporting a lot of that actually speaking of which let's get that landing pad ready to go and we can try to start storing some stuff up here We'll build three landing pads and then we'll try to build some storage up here so that it looks like no matter what drones still have to bring things and load them into ships so the drones will still have a purpose even if we automate yeah it's true dirty also enjoys games on windows 95 or 98 all right we got we gotta we gotta make like a goal for dirty and just force him to like hey once you get X number of members, we're gonna do like a big dirty memberathon, and then once he hits the number, he has to play. Like, it'll be great because it'll be like a huge Call of Duty update coming out or something.
And he'll be forced to play Lego Island instead. It'll be great. Pure evil. Well, I don't know if these things take power. I could imagine they do because lighting. On the other hand, they could be self-sufficient because lighting doesn't take that much power. We shall see. Vista means death, although the games back then were deadly. Games were good back on Vista. XP. My buddy here played, uh, what was it, Space Cadet? Or Space Commando or whatever, the pinball game? We all played it. Probably got more hours in that than you do uh, City Skylines. Nah, he'll play Lego Island with this kid. It'll be great. It'll be great. Mandatory greatness. I think we found most of this stuff down here. Alright, let's leave that battery to fully charge. Did we unlock medium solar panels yet? Not yet. Soon. I gotta get a space truck going. I'm gonna see if I can buy one. Is there like a truck I could buy from the store? Can we can we go to the truck store, brother, and pick up some trucks? Well, we can buy some robots. That probably wouldn't be that bad. Whoa, never mind. Bro, two robots is $100,000? That's like all our money. We're going to have to start shipping out steel like Car Carnegie. It's going to be crazy. Hell yeah, I want to buy some trucks, brother. I gotta go find like a truck on the map, I think, and repair it. Might be like a little expedition quest. Oh, there it is. But I can't send that vehicle though. Do we have what it needs? Oh wow. This thing needs 454 concrete and like 312. Oh whoa. We're never going to be able to repair that cheaply. That's a hell of a lot of stuff that needs to be repaired. Oh, well, maybe the crash cargo pod, but that's like on the other side of the moon. Damn. I mean, we could buy some of that stuff. I mean, you know, it would zero out our money, but at least we could go to other... Uh... We could start other industries. Now we need a lot of space concrete, yeah. There we 
there. Do one, two, three. Mining's really cool. Oh good, we have our first one up. Now we can start selling stuff. Silicon, titanium. Anybody just buying steel? Just steel, only steel. Oh, there we go. All right, boys, load it up. Man, I really could use some more uh, uh, robots. Drones. Drones. Where we're going, we don't need drones. Okay, uh, let's just bring it down to like one mining drone. Everything else has got to get transported. Both for repairs and for loading up that ship. So we can get some money. Baby, money, money. Does it freeze? No, it's it's always fresh, never frozen, like a Wendy's burger. Burner, burner, burner. transporting stuff for the shuttle and hopefully stuff to our smart concrete plant Looks like this thing is just really slow at making concrete. We'll have to build a second one.
All right. Boom. Looks like it's going the right way for now. Shuttle's getting to a hundred. Speed up time. I think we could build another charger down here. The bots don't have to go so far. Honey and garlic? Nope. Contract's due in 19 days. I oh, should be able to load that up. We're about halfway. We got everything they wanted. Two hundred and three. All right, it's almost done. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's where the rest of the concrete's going. The old landing pad. It looks like pizza dough on the conveyor. It sure does. Hey, our contract's complete. Made some money from that. Ooh, now they want a thousand. Uh, not so much there yet. This guy wants slag for a hundred research points. Oh. Well, we could start storing that slag. Looks like that, too, could be a res uh, resource. All right. These are the ones that make the slag.
All right, so that slag's going to be a good uh, money maker too, or at least research something. We can export it and use it. That's good. It's 10 to 2, okay. What's up, Kevin? Get that titanium mine done soon. Now we're storing slag. Good. The smelting furnace efficiency, that's what we want next. That's what we want. Man, I want to repair that truck and bring stuff back. I, I guess that's going to have to be the goal, is to do a bunch of contracts to get enough money to then buy whatever we need to repair that truck, to then repair the truck, to then get all the resources that are around. I see that as kind of being the only option at the moment. Hundred silicon. 250, I'll take that. We can definitely do that. We gotta kinda load one at a time though. Robocop playthrough is on the channel. No, that's true. No meteors have hit yet. Yeah, we get a chance to play the sandbox mode now. Okay, we've made 77,000.
Yeah, our rover is kind of for scouting. Upkeep is going to be a problem. Good thing we're researching automatic repairs. Trying to keep up with the upkeep. Also trying to keep up with the contracts so we can buy whatever they need for that other thing. We actually we could we could probably do all right with the um, with the smart concrete. But buying those rare, rare earth minerals is gonna be insane. But there's so many free resources around that it would be worth it to spend all that money to try to get the resources. If we buy cheap resources to repair the truck and then we use that those resources to then uh, repair the truck and get better resources. Good. Research complete. Research complete. And now we move on to better smelting. Good. Asteroids will have alloys. Good. This pleases me. This pleases me. This pleases me. Yes. Yeah, auto repair is almost done. It's very expensive, though. We're researching a few at a time. And we're also trading to try to... If we trade, not only are we getting money, but they're also giving us some research, too. Which is nice that they give you tech points. Contract complete. We need more mining equipment so that way we don't have a delay anymore.
All right, let's build a Yeah, we need an extractor, yep. And mine this out, make room to try to store some of this so we don't have an interruption. Equipment's kind of starting to get unreliable. I don't know if there's a way to actually improve upon that. Oh, this is annoying. Ch chasing every little thing around that breaks down is really annoying. We do have a research going for this. All right, we're clearing the way. Luckily, those storage things don't need power seems which is good okay, 88 out of 250 that contracts looking good Contracts due in nine days, but we got what we need. Needs to be loaded. Power's going in. Mining's completing. Good. Big upgrades, chat. Upgrade.
Hmm. Okay, we're gonna split this to go to two different uh, simple Y split here. Why? Nope. Alright, cool. So that should be uh our third and then we'll have a little retaining ninety four out of two fifty with hundred and twenty four okay and we'll be making more and refinery speeds and things have sped up so hopefully we're good We gotta start making components, so we gotta get that titanium going next, so we can make our own components. <clears throat> That'll take steel and <coughs> titanium. Much more output. Got to mine those corners. Damn, now those boys take 20 to make 12? Damn. Take a little bit to get caught up, but we're good. Yeah, we're good. Hopefully they're able to bring all that up in time. We're good on the materials now. The drones just got to transport things. Yeah, good, good, good.
Concrete's going to need some of that too for mining. We'll get that from here. Thanks, Jacob. So this is iron, right? No, silicon. Silly, how silly, Con. Okay, more more uh, more mining to do. Two days left on the shipment. Oh yeah, we'll we'll make it. We're good. we do these things only take one at a time oh boy a long way to drive I don't think we can get conveyors up in the elevator yet either but soon <laughs> contract failed okay Yeah, that's fine. We'll clean up our work area again and get concrete pumping out. What? A penalty? Uh, that causes emotional damage fees for me, so... Yeah, a... Uh, contract penalty... Research complete. For me, is a contract penalty fee for them. So that's sixty-three trillion dollars per second ever since Earth existed, or ninety percent of their company's products for uh, profits for a hundred years. Twenty-five percent movement speed for the robots. Okay, that's going to be needed. Go next door instead. All right, let's find some new contracts. Maybe something not so much. Hmm. Need something with just like a little bit of iron. Something easy. We might have to wait until these uh, refresh. Yeah, we may have to wait till a refresher. But that's good though, because then if we get a refresh, um, they might have a higher demand for some of that stuff, which would be cool. Moon Runner. Hey, the automatic repair is working. Good. Now we can focus on what matters. Profits. Money.
I have to build another one of these. Or... Smelting furnace efficiency plus 25. These are these are gonna need these are gonna need more. So we need way more ways to process this. Or this one can process multiple, but Gotta research that, finish that up. We're going to need more solar panels to do this. And we just unlocked the mediums, it seems. All right, cool. The layout reminds me of Ixion. Oh, yeah. Hey, we did it, though. We beat that damn game. Research complete. And we got all the endings that were available at the time. I'll wait till those are build, built and then we'll cook, uh, cook those all up. Where else was there iron? There was one more up there, okay. A little far for now. But I could have this conveyor belt go out the back. Where's the underground conveyors? There. All right, more power in an underground conveyor. And then we can make a section over there for it, maybe. It's gonna get rather complicated. Planet Crafter had another update. Great game. Undo ten. big solar panels like cast a shadow on the small ones. I don't know if that matters. Oh, hope not. 
Uh, let's do... And we'll see how that goes. All right, on to... These are creating 42. Each of these create 17. Yeah, those big boys are where it's at. that storage really well as as these are running out of uh, iron ore they get more so they're working if they're not really sitting idle for at all but we just use more. But it's good that we're storing some up. Okay, I, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We're okay. thousand though. Um. Yeah, mining colony base builder all in one. It's neat. I like it. Maybe we could do some silicon uh, contracts then. Let's mine out this area and uh, prepare for processing. Uh, yeah, uh, eventually we could build a colony and people can actually live here. Water, oxygen, food will be a factor.
We're going to start trying to ship out uh, silicon then. And that'll also help us to make more power. Unlimited power, that's right. All right, what's mine? All right. Sixteen days remaining on that. buy those minerals. Uh, the rover truck wanted what? Rare earth minerals and smart concrete we can do the concrete but we're, what are the minerals under we have rare earth uh, elements but we need minerals this is one of those spooky games raptor promised i know totally Hmm, I don't see it on the list. We're gonna have to acquire that somehow. So if we can't buy it, we're gonna have to mine it ourselves. Because we can't recover the, it with the truck. Rare Earth Mineral Zero. What a weird thing to repair the truck with. Or is that what's available for the truck? Is that what the truck broke down with? Maybe we have to find another vehicle. Salvage parts and cargo could prove valuable. Uh, okay, so it's not us repairing that. We gotta find something else then. Storage, server hub. I mean, I have no idea whether a broken down vehicle could be. I don't I don't know if we can make one. I don't think so. But we need one to go out because this place is littered with like free resources just sitting there. We have to use the durable walls research to do that? Oh, really? I saw that picture there, but I thought it used those to make those. Unlocks technology to drill impenetrable areas and extract rare earth. Oh, like the, oh, I see, like the basalt areas. Okay. I'll do a little ping then, see how big that is. Okay. Oh, well, that's cute. But what I really need is the... I need to get a truck. Can I buy a truck, brother? Repeater. 
Expedition Control Center, Flight Control Center, Cargo Dock. Oh, maybe we need to make a vehicle hangar. That's still a lot of that's a lot of stuff. But there's so many things out in the world that would be great to just have a little truck, just like in the campaign mission, go out and get. But all right. That's right. We're gonna work on silicon because that's like the next thing. So extractors for silicon. Then we need Now oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can these process that? Yes. Yeah, we're kind of low on the whole uh, components, though. But I need silicon to make some money and stuff, too, to continue to do contracts for research points. Titanium will get us the mechanical parts we need. We can also just buy some. Yeah, let's do that. Um... By 20 components. to set up power lines too. And then we need some sort of a smelter. We're gonna need like four of these. Just like before. Hopefully the ratio is the same. Man, it's gonna take so much materials now. Mm. 
Man, then we need storage for the finished product. Split into twos. We're waiting for the power lines to be hooked up now. And that will be silicon. No more smart concrete, sad. Ah, these guys are just going to bring it over here. Yeah. Ah, feels good, man. We got tons of uh, steel ready to go out. We just need a buyer. Lots of uh, silicon ready to go, too. Damn, we don't have a thousand. Hey, more people have entered the trade, though. Instead of looking through all these people, it'd be nice to just easily sort a contract based on what you got or what you want to sell. Like we could easily do the the silicon sale. I don't think this this one doesn't have a timed contract. Okay, we got to make that purple Kool Aid mix. be able to just cheese it and buy whatever she needs and then just sell it to her at a higher price <laughs> business yeah, that's exactly what we can do we can buy silicon for like 7k and then sell it to her for a higher price Fool. how much did she need hundo <laughs> Cuts into our profits a bit, but whatever.
We'll buy a little bit for ourselves, too. I guess we're out of money. Well, well, we'll buy what we uh, buy what we can. Ship the rest of this that we're making upstairs. There's no time on the contract, so. In the meantime, we'll find another person who wants to buy steel. Is there a timer on that? 35 days. Good. Research completing. Good. Looks like we're making a good amount of silicon. We got about 500 steel to sell. So. Anybody buying like two hundo? Oh, there's no due date on this one. 1,500 uh, concrete and 1,000 steel. We can do that. Oh, 100,000 bucks? All right, there we go. Now we're in business. Yeah, I mean, there's contracts where you could probably, you know, it's like, oh, give me 50 steel for a million dollars. And it's like, oh, I don't have any steel. Well, I'll buy 50 steel for 200,000. Oh, and then now I got a million. You don't see a product production line for pizza rolls? It's a very short chain. It goes directly from the oven to my mouth. Very, very short ch production chain. All right, then we'll build that. And steel boom. So it looks like you make things directly next to each other too, that's cool. And then Earth wanted their stuff, right? Didn't I accept that Earth contract? Oh, I'm sorry, dude, I didn't... I didn't accept it yet. Yep, send everything we got to him. Oh wait, we're going to have to make multiple shipments? Oh, we're going to have to make multiple shipments, okay. We'll load up that one first. We'll make, a, we'll make the small shipment. Well, that's kind of cool, so if you have a timed contract that has a lot of materials, and you're using the smaller, old, outdated shuttles, then you're not going to be able to do it. Now, this is pretty early still in the game. We've been playing for about three hours, but, um, you know, like the mining and stuff down here is kind of slow. But it, it's realistically, um, it, it feels like it's paced well. Not not that it's a grind, but that it's just 
things exponentially get faster. And now we're already making like silicon, and we're making iron, and we're making concrete, and we're about ready to make uh, titanium. Uh, I'm trying to make some money. So we're shipping out a bunch of steel to Earth. So we got all those guys doing that. Feels good, man. Now I want to use all that money to like buy some more drones. Drones are going to be like what we really need. Bring them to the drone zone. Do that too. A good start. Good times. Chat, in about, well, we're getting close. In about 24 hours, we're going to have about 24 hours to go until City Skylines 2. Until we can stream that here and bring glory to Raptoria yet again. That's all the time I have tonight for the crust, though, as I've got to get some other stuff done before the big day. So thank you very much for joining me. The crust demo has been extended, so you should be able to play maybe this week or something. If you like what you saw, please do smash that like button and let me know you'd like to see a full playthrough and more of uh, crust. And support Raptoria. Support your fellow chatter. Show some love. Blow up that uh, like button. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for becoming members. Thanks for all the gift bombs. Thanks for hanging out. If we have additional keys for City Skylines 2 to give away, or this game, or any other games, we'll probably do some more uh, uh, keys on the on the Discord. It's been a long time since we've done that, so we're getting close to the holiday season. be a good time to start doing that again. But anyway, I'll see you all very soon. Thanks again for all the non-stop, won't-stop, don't-stop support. And we'll see you all tomorrow for more, well, City Skylines 2 tomorrow. We're going to be covering some of the dev stuff and other things... Uh, relating to city skylines and whatnot and then finally we get to play it on the 19th let's go